welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Lauren today's video is going to be a spring decor Hobby Lobby shop with me and haul but also I'm gonna be showing how I style all of these items in my home and I thought this would be a fun one because I know Hobby Lobby can be super overwhelming <laughs> if you've never been there before they have so much stuff and so I find sometimes if I go in there I don't end up buying anything because I can't figure out like how I would style things. I always need to go in with like inspiration pictures. So I've really enjoyed watching Hobby Lobby hauls recently because then I kind of take inspo from the way other people style things and I go in with a plan. <laughs> so I'll link this girl below but I watched her Hobby Lobby um, shop with me and haul and then her floral arrangements and I literally screenshot all her floral arrangements and then went and bought like the exact florals. So I just feel like that makes it a little bit easier. It can kind of be like, okay, wait, well, there's too much stuff, there's too many styles. So I thought that I would go in, show you what they have, and then doing a little haul and showing you the styling. So hopefully it makes your next Hobby Lobby trip a little bit smoother. Now, keep in mind, if you've never been to Hobby, why is my whole sleeve wet? Okay, <laughs> but keep in mind, if you guys have never been to Hobby Lobby before, never, ever, ever buy anything full price from Hobby Lobby. So the whole spring section is currently 40% off, and then the rest of the store is split in half, and half of the store goes on sale 50% off one week, and the next week, everything else will be 50% off, and it just switches. So like table decor is 50% off one week, the next week's wall decor. Table decor, wall decor, table decor, wall decor. So never buy anything full price. If it's not on sale, just wait till that next week to go get it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. I'm also going to be doing a thrift shop with me and haul and a full spring decor decorate with me as well. So I'd love to have you stick around. And let's get into the shopping. So starting out in the floral section, because I feel like switching out florals makes the biggest impact for the lowest amount of money. I really loved this greenery, both of these actually, but they only had one stem of each, which same thing with this floral. Every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I look for this flower and they always only have one stem, so it must be really popular, but if you guys see those at your Hobby Lobby, be sure to grab them because they are so pretty. I also loved these little hydrangea balls. I feel like they're perfect for the beginning of spring. They look just like how hydrangeas look when they first start to bloom. Now these are one of my favorite florals. So these are the little baby's breath and I have a bunch of these already at my house and I just think they're so pretty. I use them year round. However, if you think the white is a little too springy for this time of year, they also have this really pretty like muted beige mauvey one. One, which I think would be perfect. So something I always recommend is making sure you check out the planter section at Hobby Lobby. I feel like when I first started going there, I always went in with like, okay, I need a vase. Let me check out the vase aisle. And honestly, I don't love a lot of the stuff they have in the vase aisle, but their planters are like their hidden gems. They have so many like aged, looking vases, they look so high end, something you'd find from like Pottery Barn or McGee & Co. And also, as you'll see here, don't be afraid to grab the florals and kind of style them in the vase in store, obviously as long as you put them back afterwards. But that's something that I really love about Hobby Lobby is that they have so many things, like you can go get a frame and go get a floral and get a vase and kind of style it together in the store to make sure that it has the vision you want and everything goes together before purchasing it, so I always take advantage of that. I really liked this black vase. Now even watching this back, I kind of wish I got it. I'm someone where I kind of get afraid of black. I don't really own any black items, so I don't know how it would look in my home, but now looking back at this footage, I'm like, gosh, that was so pretty. Now I really liked this white planter. If you're into like traditional style, the grand millennial style, this would be really pretty with some hydrangeas and I was super close to buying it. So I really like this tiny little planter. I just think it has so much character and it's so inexpensive and all you have to do is grab a couple little picks and plop them in there and I think it would be so pretty in a kitchen next to like a utensil crock 
or on a stack of books in an entryway on a coffee table. As you can see, I did go a little floral crazy, so you guys will see that in the hall at the end. Really liked this bench, and it was $55. I thought it would be so pretty in an entryway. However, my mom was with me and she reminded me that even though I don't like the look of the bench that I have at my front door, it does open for shoes and we use it, so it's more functional, so I did pass on it today, but I really liked it. Now, this lamp would be perfect as a kitchen lamp. I have one really similar that I got from Target from the Studio McGee line, but this one is beautiful, so if you're in need of a little kitchen lamp, I know those are really trendy right now, this would be perfect. Now something that I go all out for during spring is baskets. Now I will say my favorite place to get baskets is always Goodwill. There is like so many baskets, so many different kinds of Goodwill. So if you are in the market, definitely check out some Goodwills first because they're always just a dollar or two. And I mean, there are so many kinds every time I go. However, Hobby Lobby also had a lot of great affordable options. I really liked this one, not only for the thought of like hanging it up on a hook or using it with some florals, but I thought it would actually be great as sort of like a magazine holder, maybe putting it next to a chair in the living room, throwing extra cords in there, maybe your laptop, some books. I just thought that would be something really pretty, but also functional. Now these next couple items I'm showing, I feel like look so high end, like I could totally see them being sold from McGee & Co for like a couple hundred bucks or something like that. So if you are someone that's into this like McGee & Co, Amber Lewis, like that transitional style of decor, make sure you check out Hobby Lobby before you spend any big money because it's so much more affordable and I feel like there are so many good dupes here. Now these were really cute. I thought they would be cute on like a shelf styling or I don't, I don't know, maybe like a bathroom because they say they're not food safe, but the price on them was a little ridiculous. So this tiny little thing was $34. Now these are new. I love the scalloped edges. I felt like those would be really pretty as a fruit bowl. I didn't show it, but they also had a tray, which I picked up. Now, if you need new artwork, definitely go to Hobby Lobby. They had so many to choose from in so many different styles. I loved this one with just the black frame and the pretty print. I just thought it was so beautiful. And they also have this one that has like the black and the gold. They have all gold frames. I just feel like any style of decor that you're trying to go for, they have different prints for you and they all have different frames and they're all reasonably priced. Now this one I'm actually thinking about going back and getting. I love that it has some texture on it. It makes it look a little bit more expensive and it's a really good size. And I have a few walls in my house that I just kind of don't know what to do with that I think a large piece of artwork would be perfect for. Something I love to use in styling is wood pieces, specifically cutting boards, and Hobby Lobby had so many in the spring section, like every tone of wood, and I just love them, especially on kitchen counters for layering. Um, at my old house, if you didn't watch my old videos, we had a backsplash that I absolutely hated, and a great way to cover that up, if you also don't like your backsplash, is to take a couple big cutting boards and layer them, put some books in front, and kind of make it a little styling moment. And now we actually live in a house where I really like our kitchen, but we don't have a backsplash yet. So sometimes it can feel a little empty. So once again, I just love using those cutting boards just to add a little bit of interest, a little bit of texture. And I loved these little sets they had with the dishcloths and cutting boards. I just felt like they were so cute. I would almost just leave it tied like that. This definitely reminds me of something that you would get from the Joanna Gaines line at Target. I feel like this is very much her vibe. Hobby Lobby's spring section had so many canisters for whatever style you're going for. I really like these ones with the black tops. They would be perfect for like a coffee bar, but also if you're just wanting to organize your pantry, maybe store like your dry goods, your flour. There was so much organization stuff at Hobby Lobby. If you are in the mood to organize, 
seriously go to Hobby Lobby before you go anywhere else. It looked like the container store in here, like every container you could possibly imagine and the prices were insane. So keep in mind that all of this is 40% off right now. And then the farther we get into spring, it will get marked down more and more. And I just could not believe how cheap these were, especially compared to like prices at the container store or Target or even at Home Goods. And they had things for fridges, for like your hall closet, for your bathroom. I felt like this says fridge organization, but I think it would be perfect for bathroom drawers or kitchen doors. They had these little spice racks, just so much stuff. I was so impressed. I loved all of these placemats. And an idea that I've used before that I, I've seen people do, which is great, is if you have like a coffee machine or an espresso and it's under your counter, under your cabinets, you know how when you have to use it, you kind of have to scoot it towards you to get it, to make it so it can open up. I found that putting one of these placemats underneath the coffee machine or underneath like the Nespresso or whatever makes it so that one, it looks really cute and it looks styled, but two, you can actually pull it like it will slide out from under the cabinets a lot easier. So that's a little tip if you have that issue like I do. They even had an aisle that looked like it was specifically for bathrooms. So it had as much bathroom organization as you could possibly think of, like every type of style and um, different organizers. It had little baskets. They even had robes, just so much stuff. Candles, it looked like a spa down this aisle. Now these I thought would be really fun for in a playroom because they have a bunch of little colored balls kind of woven into the fabric. Okay everyone, welcome to the whole portion of the video. So quick disclaimer, half of these items are my mom's. So my mom came shopping with me and she wanted me to have as much content as possible so she let me bring home all of her finds as well so that I could show you guys it and style them and everything. So half of the stuff is mine and half is my mom's. Okay, so the first thing I got is this really pretty tray. So it's like a cream color and it has this really pretty scalloped edge. So this was originally $34.99, so half off of that. So I keep my bathroom stuff, like the things that I use every day, my moisturizers or toothpaste, stuff like that on the bathroom counter. And sometimes that can make it look a little bit messy. So I thought if I had a tray where I could just put like my moisturizer, my heat protectant for my hair, like stuff like that, it would just seem a little bit more intentional. So I got that. The next thing I got, and I only got these because of that girl's video that I was watching, earlier so that's what I mean when I say if you have inspiration it's so much easier to find florals because I really struggle with layering florals and you'll see in the styling part um, when I show how I style this I actually mixed it with some greenery that I had previously from Target and just added a few of these in and I love how it looks and it looks so natural because they're layered so these are just beautiful they're originally ten dollars so five dollars I just think these are so pretty and the stems are absolutely huge. So no matter what size face you have, it will fit in there. Okay, so the next ones I got, I actually think I'm gonna be returning sadly because they're just, they're a little too big. So I love these. These might actually be my favorite. So they're these like huge hydrangea balls. They're originally $19, I cannot believe that. They are so big. So I was trying to play around, I was playing around with them and kind of bending this to get it to fit into a vase. Like, I cannot explain to you how big this is. I put it in like my largest vase on my dining room table and it looked ridiculous. It looked like I plucked a tree from outside and like stuck it in a vase. It's so big. Now, if you saw in the part of the video where I was talking about that I always want to buy these florals, but I never can find them. I actually went to two different Hobby Lobbies looking for the white version of this and they're always sold out or they only have one stem left and I just love them. So I actually ended up getting this really pretty 
like rose blush mauve color and i still think that it's really good for spring it actually might be even better than a white for this like time that we're in where it's like in between um winter and spring but i really just think these are so pretty so they look like this okay so the next thing i have is this canister so originally 12.99 and it was 40 percent off because it was from the spring shop so it is food safe so i bought this with the intention of putting either my coffee grounds or my coffee beans in it i really just like the natural wood look it has a pretty good suction for keeping things fresh i just thought that it would be a really pretty like sleek way to store my coffee beans so that's what i got that for okay so the next thing is also my mom's so she had a galvanized planter like this on her wall that had florals in it and she was just kind of over the galvanized look she would had it on her wall for a couple years so we both decided that this would be a really cute one to switch it out with because she needed something on the wall there to kind of replace it and to still put those florals it just felt really empty but i feel like this is a lot more her style now so yeah it has that it has the little hook on it and then i'm just gonna put some sort of florals in there Okay, now these two are mine so i got this out of the spring shop and it was originally 10.99 but it came to 40 percent off of that now it doesn't say whether or not it's food safe but it does say serveware oh, okay yes yeah, so it is food safe so this would be really cute for washing berries i have a two-year-old who's obsessed with like blueberries blackberry strawberries so i'm always thinking about how i'm gonna wash these berries so it would be perfect for that but i also just thought it would be perfect for a display in the kitchen you could even put some little lemons in there it has a really cute little floral design not that okay the next thing is something else that i bought and didn't quite know what i was going to do with it so it was originally 13.99 but it was half off so it was seven dollars and it's just this really pretty piece of art it's like a textured bird can you see that i thought this would be cute and like hung up in a bathroom um this is another one that you could actually put like in the kitchen on your countertop because it is really small but yeah i just like that now this is not the only bird print I got. I got two other ones. I have such a thing for bird prints right now. I don't know what it is. It's like so classy to me. This is so silly, but I feel like when I see, I'll put inspiration pictures maybe up here. When people have like really pretty like traditional homes, like Ralph Lauren style, you always see pictures of like horses or birds and I want that essence in my house. So in my living room, I already have four framed bird prints. And then I just bought three more. I'm probably going to return this one. Um, but the real kicker is I do not like birds at all, at all, at all. They are so scary. I do not like birds, but I have a real big liking for bird prints apparently. Okay, so the next thing I got is this and it was originally $40, so half off it was 20. And I just thought this was so cute. My intention is to use it with some rolled up hand towels on like the guest bathroom i was trying to think what else you could do with it um that's like the only thing that comes to my mind okay so the next thing i got is more useful but i had something just like this in my amazon in my amazon cart for months i see a lot of girls use this on tiktok and i'm always like easily swayed and go to their amazon storefront and add it to my cart and it is just the strainer and it can be adjusted to be bigger or smaller i love the color of it it'd be perfect for like washing berries so it's originally 11.99 it was 40 percent off of that so i felt like it was a really good deal because all the ones that i saw like it on amazon were like 15 dollars where this came to what like seven dollars okay so let's see the next thing i got oh is this really pretty artwork so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it it was originally $27.99, so half off $14. And I just feel like that's such a good deal for a piece of art like this. So not only do I love the actual painting, but I felt like the frame was really pretty to have this wood look and then have that outline. So the next thing that I got was this basket, and it was originally $34.99, but it was 40% off because it's from it's from the spring shop. I just think it is so pretty it has these little gold buttons right here as well so i'm actually not sure how i'm going to style this i'm either going to put some kind of florals in it and put it on our entryway little bench 
or I'm gonna use it next to the couch to store books because we have a lot of like kids books downstairs that we like to keep downstairs because we're more likely to use them and to read out of them so I thought this would be kind of like a modern take of a magazine holder next to the couch so yeah I just thought that was really cute so this is my mom's and it was originally $34.99 but it was half off of that and look at how pretty this is it just has sunflowers all over it so it has this really pretty texture and it's meant to be a vase but I thought it would also be really pretty as like a utensil crop or you could even put like some kind of plant in there I don't know I just thought that was really pretty I'm pretty sure that she intends to use it on her counter as a vase in her kitchen okay so second to last thing I got were these yellow hydrangeas so I really like I said I really recently have been into like the traditional like Ralph Lauren style looking house I don't even know if I'm describing it correctly but I love when people use glass vases and have hydrangeas in them and I so I have the intention of putting these in a really pretty glass vase I have a few thrifted ones I also have some like candle holders that I thought these might be pretty in I actually already cut them and they are originally $9.99 so they were five dollars each okay it's time for the bird prints so this is the first one I got now I really liked these because of the matting so they were originally $32.99 they're from the relaxed collection um so what would that put us out like $16 each is what they came to and it looks like it's 12 by yeah 12 by 15 so it's a pretty good size and now let me see if you guys can see the matting because that's what I really liked about these prints so it has this really pretty bird picture in it but I love that it actually has this linen matting back here and then this wood toned frame I feel like it just makes it look so much more expensive than it is and then I also got this one so I think I'm gonna keep these and then get rid of that little one and put these somewhere in whatever room is left that doesn't have bird prints. <laughs> okay, so that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please take a moment to leave a comment down below. If you did, I would love to hear from you. Any feedback, comments, it just helps out my channel a lot. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like I said, my next video, I believe, because I already have it filmed, is a spring thrift shop with me and haul. And then also after that, I'll be filming a spring decorate with me. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.